Hello everybody, my name is Tom from California, a formerly ruby red Republican state that produced one of the great Republican presidents of the 20th century, Ronald Reagan. One of the people who really made me want to become a conservative. The things that Reagan did and espoused and said, he unified us. He was the great communicator. But the same cannot be said for our current president. Donald Trump does not want to unify us. He divides us on race, on gender. He's, he divides our world. He's a joke. All the other countries laugh at us. In his current treatment of COVID-19, at first he didn't even think this was a real thing. He kept calling it the Chinese virus. Of course, there's no medical background for calling it the Chinese virus. You know, he didn't believe in it. He does not wear masks. And he's bungled pretty much everything that has come before his administration. And that's an embarrassment. It really is. It used to be that us Republicans, I'm a former Republican now. I'm, I now have no party preference. Us Republicans always emphasized fiscal responsibility. That we shouldn't spend ridiculous sums of money on stupid government programs. But the president has added $6 trillion to our national debt since he was first elected and first took office in 2017. It's only been three and a half years. He's, he's at a rate to outdo Barack Obama's spending. In his tax cut bill, it's great that we have a tax cut. I'm all for tax cuts, but we can't have tax cuts and increase spending at the same time. That's how we get into the debacle we're in, fiscally. And, and another thing that we need to remember about President Trump is that he's not a conservative. There's nothing conservative about him. All he cares about is himself, not building coalitions, not, not trying to win new voters. It's all about him. His tariffs. What is... The hell does that have to do with conservatism? His hatred of NAFTA. Whose brain? Who helped produce NAFTA in the first place? It's Ronald Reagan's brainchild. It's not some liberal conspiracy like he thinks it is. It's not a legacy of Barack Obama. But we need to be really careful when our party has decided to vote and support a man who does not believe in the things that they do whose administration has been the most corrupt since Richard Nixon, if not more, been full of nepotism, someone who says things about other races and ethnicities. He's had so many opportunities to bring us together, to try to see the differences between us and look at what we all have in common as Americans, and has not done that. He's had so many tries. So many chances. I told everybody, give him a chance, give him a chance. He might he might do something good. Well, we've we've had almost four years and the amount of good things have been pretty much nothing. I'm sorry, but as a former Republican, as a Reagan Republican, I can't support him. We have to find a new candidate. Thank you.